Kolza. I am one of the actresses in the short film Sarah. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the makeup. My father's the director, and he also was one of the makeup artists. Today, I'll be covering the fake prosthetic face of the little boy that Sarah wore when she was a child. Face, you want to cover the eyebrows and eyelashes. Very important with Vaseline so that the plaster bandages don't stick. Normally you'd use a bald cap, however I've been doing this for quite some time. I always pre-cut my bandages, that way you do not have to worry about cutting them with wet hands. I'll be taking several layers of bandages, doubling them over so that they're twice as thick, wetting them down, but you want to make sure you do not cover the nostrils. You'll do little strips around the nose to bridge to strengthen it, go between the nostrils. You'll want about seven layers to make the mask really strong go up and down on the sides of the face, that way you get a crisscross pattern. When it's all set and dry, that you can go ahead and just pry it off by having him lean forward and wiggle his face, his eyes, his cheeks, and smile, it comes right off. As you can see here, we have a negative mold that we made off our actor's face. I covered up the nose holes uh, after I took it off and I also balled up some little material to create the nostrils as you can see right there. So when you're applying latex you're going to want to make sure that you use a sponge or a brush. I prefer a sponge because it keeps your brushes clean. When you use a sponge it's as simple as you know just cutting off the end of the sponge when it starts to get tacky and dried with latex. When you have your seven layers you'll use a hair dryer to dry them and then you'll turn around and peel it off after all the layers are dry and you'll want to use baby powder because if you don't use baby powder the latex could stick to itself and if it touches itself without the baby powder to begin with brand new latex it will not pull apart. But when you have your mask pulled out then all you have to do is apply your paints to it. A uh, little tip, you can trace out the eyes and with marker and that will transfer over to the latex so you'll know proportionately where to cut out your eye holes. I wanted to take time to show you guys this the difference between these two molds. Like I said, this is a negative mold, but this one here, it's a positive mold. The difference is we made a cast of our actress's face ahead of time. We poured gypsum cement into it and we used alginate to capture it and then plaster bandages over that. The alginate will actually capture details in the lips, as you can see the cracks in the lips. So it gives a really good impression. So the interesting thing is we painted the latex directly onto the top of this to get its shape for the adult mask. approached by a few people and wanting to know how we pulled off the cutting of the skin. We build up the skin with scar wax and then filled the inside with blood and reds and black paint. It was very simple just to run the knife across it, add in a few sound effects and you get the final product. I have been approached by a few people who have seen the film wanting to know how we pulled off the actual appearance of a complete face removed. To do the whole face, Rhonda went ahead and added several layers of makeup around the eyes and the face with a scar wax built all the way around the prosthetic face. This is a simple technique where building up the scar wax creates depth. The eye is tricked into thinking that there's depth and that the makeup is recessed behind the skin. If you haven't seen the first episode, there Rhonda went ahead and explained by using different makeups and using reds, blues, and blacks, you actually can create depth in your makeup. If you like what you've seen, click the subscribe button. Also, like us on Facebook and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Okay, one more like that. Ready and action. Action. Okay, okay. Wow, someone's gonna think we're making a different kind of movie here. Raise it up, raise it up, raise it up. Keep raising.
There, you're in shot. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Right in there. Ready and action. Whenever you're ready.